know my next guest from her hit Disney show, The Wizards of Waverly Place. Now, she's got a new CD called A Year Without Rain. Please welcome back Selena Gomez. Last time you were here, you're like a foot taller. No. <laughs> oh, really? maybe the shoes. Okay. So the last time you were here, you weren't feeling particularly great. Right. Right? You had, we had a little issue with your throat. You, you had been singing. Yes. I, I blew out my voice on tour, and the doctor said that I could lose my voice permanently and damage it if I, kept, if I kept it up. So I, I had to <laughs> not talk. When I saw you at Access Hollywood last week, what did I say to you? You were like, can you talk? <laughs> like, yes, I can talk. For those uh, uh, people who didn't see, we were talking about uh, Justin Bieber, and uh, Selena had a great way of uh, answering the questions. Check this out. When they performed together, he ran backstage, and as they were counting down the song, and asked Selena to take off her shoes because she was taller than him. What did you tell him? No, I'm not going to take off my heels. You're short. Embrace it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what was the uh, things changed. What was the reaction after the show? Anything? Uh, oh yes, absolutely. I went over to Europe after my voice got better, and in Spain, and London, and Germany, everywhere asked. So George Lopez on your show? Blah, blah. It was crazy. <laughs> it went everywhere. It went everywhere, right? Yeah. I don't think they've ever seen a, a, an actress or performer use. A talk box. It, I, I was really, I was really sad that it had to be that way, but it ended up being a really but good listen, thing. But listen, this is what I like. I like that you didn't cancel your appearance. You showed up. <laughs> huh? You showed up. Not like, not like Manny Pacquiao who has a busted rib. Cancels. Come on. Oh goodness. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was in a fight on Saturday. So re recently, uh, they, they saw this picture of you guys at, uh, this is oh where, gosh. Selena? This is, is it, what's going on in that picture? Um, Will Smith I'm, is in there. I'm trying to convince Justin to eat my food because he wouldn't eat anything and I was eating nachos and corn dog and everything <laughs> and nobody would eat and I'm like, why am I the only one eating? <laughs> um, and Kenny, which is right behind me, is drinking soup yeah. and uh, next to Will Smith. And I think Will's concentrating. But this is my favorite. Look at this lady in the hoodie. Yeah. She did not move the entire game. <laughs> she was like that the entire time. She was? Yeah. Do you know who that is? No. But we gave her cookies, and she was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she didn't move. I'm getting cookies. I'm not moving. Are you a, f a fan of football? No, I don't. Even, I didn't even know what was going on. I was like, I was like, Will, which one's your son? And I was like, All right. And I never knew who it was. <laughs> I was just cheering. <laughs> Does uh, did Justin Bieber know what was happening? Oh yeah, he knew everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Canadian, they. <laughs> what? Is there, are they not supposed they, to they know? Have football in Can Canada. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned that you have you have a new album, right? Mm -hmm. And I saw yes, the new album. <laughs> I'm so I'm happy that I'm happy that you're back, and I'm happy that you're gonna sing. And I saw your video, which is very cool. It's almost very like a spy, like a spy movie. Yes, it was for my first single, and I was in Budapest. I was in Hungary shooting a movie, so they wanted to release the single there, and we shot the music video in Budapest. Yeah, and 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 the. Uh, uh, the concept of it is you were running all over town. Beautiful, well shot. Yeah, we thought since we're there, we should you know do a video that had a concept that included Budapest because it was so beautiful. Was that your first time in Budapest? Yes. Is it shocking the cultural differences? Yes. What do they do that they don't? Um, wear... They don't wear that much clothing, no matter <laughs> no matter how the temperature is, <laughs> and um, they like red to orange hair. Not Rihanna red. It's like it's like. Like my Thea, my Thea Linda's no. hair. Like, <laughs> it's like the one that she did herself. Now, no offense, because everyone was so nice there, and that was totally their thing. So I was like, awesome, and more power to you, but I couldn't do it. Do you have a Thea that has orange hair? Yes, she like did it with, well, one year she did it with Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> and then another year she did it from the box. I gotta love her for it, though. You know what, I have a Thea that had orange hair, and when she would take us to McDonald's, the kids would run to her. <laughs> And they go, Ronald McDonald, get out of here! 
They thought she was well in the bunk. <laughs> I love being on your so show. So then my Theo was bigger, so he became the grimace, and then she became Ronald McDonald. Oh, wow. Did, did, you, learn, did you learn Hungarian? I did. I learned Sereklek, which is I love you, and Chandid um, Feriteles, which means shut up, we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> so, so on the set, you, you, you turned 18, right? Yes. You turned 18, and yeah, that's, that's nice. <laughs> You turned 18, and, and on the set, they, you, you did a movie with Monte Carlo, right? Yes. And in the, in the movie, did you graduate from high school in the movie? It was funny, because we were shooting there for a week, and I had to do all of my school, and I graduated while I was in Budapest, while I was shooting a scene that I graduate in the movie. So I actually got to graduate on screen. That's fantastic. It was really cool. And they use your real diploma? Yeah, no. Because it, it said Selena on it. You it couldn't say Selena Gomez oh, right. in the movie. Right. <laughs> Think about it. Oh yeah, wait a minute. That's right. When I graduated from high school, I still owed credits, so I got I got the envelope, nothing inside. <laughs> Except my tail waving. I'm over here. So uh, on, on this album, you speak you speak a little Spanish tonight in the song that you're gonna sing. You're gonna you're, 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 has some I Spanish did. in it. Uh, the name of my album is called A Year Without Rain, and the second single was A Year Without Rain. And since it it's a song that obviously means a lot to me, I decided to record it in Spanish as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that a uh, is that a goal of yours one day to like Shakira was on the show? She yes, and she, I have her album, and exactly what she did is my dream. That's what you want to do. Yeah, because I feel I feel like for my family it would make them really proud, but because I'm doing so many other things, I can't sit down in the studio and I want to perfect it. Like, I want my dad to come out and make sure I'm doing it right. So, yeah. so I want to take time with it, but I'd love to. That'd be my dream to put on an entire album in Is your, And your dad's very proud of you. He has to be, right? Oh, so proud of me. Yeah, that's good. I, I mean, I have a daughter. And it's, he it's loves nice. you. He loves me? Loves you. He has got a mug. There's a picture of me, Tim Duncan, and then there's a picture of, uh, or a mug that says George Lopez on it that You're he brings and what's, to work. what's your dad's name? Uh, Ricardo. It's funny, because I drink out of a mug that says Ricardo. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> oh so, my gosh, so my dad's gonna that's freak going to out. him. That's oh, going to him. Thank so you. E even as a little girl, I mean, you kind of know when you were a little girl, you 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 sang and performed, right? I mean, yes, the fireplace was my stage. I was <laughs> I was named after Selena Quintanilla, the famous Tejano singer, and so I was educated on her. So I'd be in a diaper and I'd make a bustier out of myself and I'd be on the stage and I'd sit there and perform to no one but You'd to myself. <laughs> You'd be in a diaper and a, you'd make a bustier? Yeah, I made a bustier. How did you make it? Well, my Nana had to help me, so she dyed my <laughs> bathing suit black, and then we put sequins on it, so I went around in a bustier. That, I love my that. My dad was not happy, but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I was. That's great. You know, Selena, I, I worked with Selena in the early 90s. Did and, you? and the fact that you're named after her, and you're doing so well. I, I know that she would be very proud of, of you, you, and so all much. and all her fans would be proud because you, you are a great example. I'll tell you that. You tell me that every time you see me. You know what? I, I do. I tell you that every time I see you because when I started in this in this business, there was very few Latino performers, and everybody was older. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see a younger generation come up that has respect for the past, including your father and your family. All right? So. In, in Corpus Christi, there's a Selena statue. Have you seen the statue? Yes, I went there like three times. Did, did, you, did you rub the butt for I good luck? I did rub the butt. Because Selena... I actually think that's why I'm here, because I rubbed her butt. You know what? I rubbed her butt, too, and we're both here. Oh! How about that? It works! It does work! <laughs> now we're going to see Eric Estrada go in and try to rub the butt to get some more <laughs> So. So next next week you're home for Thanksgiving. I am. And how is that going to be? Because you'll you'll be able to disconnect from all of this yes. and just be a, a family member, right? So awesome! I love going back to Texas because I can definitely just throw my phone away. But it's nice because I get home and everyone's like, "Oh, Selena, we missed you. It's so good to see you." And then the next day they'd be like, "All right, so when are you leaving?" <laughs> <laughs> but do you vacuum and you do all that stuff? You, you uh, help in the kitchen? I can't. No. No. Do, I do, would. I am awful at that. I always ruin it. I like to have. I I love to have them, you know, be there in the kitchen, and I'm just overlooking it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But but do you, what kind of traditions do you 
Do you have? Do you have? Do you guys make uh, turkey? Turkey? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm half Mexican and half Italian, so my mom's side is really, really southern, which makes no sense. But <laughs> they have uh, fried turkey, squash, fried okra, uh, mashed potatoes. And then I go to my dad's house and they got tamales and you know all the tortillas, rice and beans, everything. All that stuff that puts you out. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. You turned 18. Here's an interesting question I like to ask people. Okay. You, are you going to look for your own place? Are you, are you, do you think you're going to live on your own? Like, no. No. I mean, it is, it is, you know, you're not ready. No, huh? no. I, I mean, I, I'm 18, but to be honest, I feel like I'm 15. I, I'm, yeah. I love, I love being with my family. They're very important to me. Right. And I mean, I don't need to rush growing up. I've got a long time. You know what? You do have a long time. Yes. And it's great. <laughs> it's great. It's good to see somebody that turns 18 and can realize that, you know, it's better to stay with your family. And because and, and once you leave, then, then, then you're out. But I know. They, they, that time is precious at home. Yeah. Yeah. I stayed, lived at home till I was 41. <laughs> Later in the show, you're going to be performing with your band, The Scene, yeah. Selena Gomez. <laughs> when we come back, when we come back, Kendra Wilkinson Basket. Selena.